All right, we're um, getting ready to ride under the um, drawbridge to check out the uh, lock, the Canaveral lock. Okay, it looks like there's a bed in here, but there's boat launches here. You can launch um, canoes, visitors parking, no overnight. So you park here as a visitor, you just can't park overnight. I guess that person's going in there, I don't know. Or they're just going to park here too. Now we'll lock. Observation area. I'm gonna um, see if I can get in. All right, we're currently at the Canaveral Lock. If you have no clue what that is, that's all right. I don't either. <laughs> Apparently, it's uh, open for the public to come in. That's just no trespassing, but no fishing, no trespassing U.S. government property. But yet, people are coming in here. So I'm assuming people are allowed to come in here because. I'm not the only one here. We just allow people to come in here and look around, so that's what we're about to do. Well, I see boats going through. There's bridge where we were at earlier. Do you know what they do here? Do I know what they do here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> well, boats come in from that way, and boats come in from that way. 
that way, and then they wait until they open the locks, and then they let them through. Oh, they so they have to wait. That's how they yeah. control somebody from hitting the um the bridge over there. Well, it has no. It has more to do with the levels of the water of the ocean and the river because they're at different levels or something like that. So uh. then it controls like the flow of water from one side to the other. Okay, so this is the river on this side, the Banana yeah, River. That's Banana River, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, like the Panama the Canal, ocean. they would control the ocean so they can raise and lower the water to let them through. Otherwise, right, the water so would just flow. I guess, like, normally it's just different levels, so then they just, like, control, like, how long it's open and how, you know, and then they keep them shut when there's nothing to go through. I don't know if they do it on a regular schedule <laughs> or when they just wait. Otherwise, you would have water flow. Like, I know I lived in Panama, the canal zone, and they had the locks because the Atlantic and the Pacific would be different heights. Right. If you left it open... Water would just keep rushing <laughs> in one way. And I forget what it is because, yeah, if they left it open, I, I forget which side is higher, but then it would, like, maybe the ocean side is higher, so it would flood out, like, some of these islands and the houses that live around here or something like that. It has to do with the level. Right, right. They try and they, they have to raise them to get to the other side, and they block the water so it doesn't. I was like, this sounds like the canal zone, you know, like we had the locks yeah, there. Yeah. The, but I was like, it's kind of weird. Well, the, it's huge over there. It's like a huge lock. Yeah, well, obviously. But but this one, I was like, oh, okay. Now you just clarified. That's the um, that's actually the Banana River on that side. Yeah, and see like where those boats are coming from? Mm -hmm. That's like a ca canal that goes straight through to the other river, to the Indian River. Uh huh. So that cuts through Merritt Island. So like, you know. Like back in the day with the shuttle and the rockets and that, you know, stuff, like big boats could come through there, do that big giant cut right there, and come from the Indian River and then come to the Banana River. So I think, I think that probably still happens. Like, and that's what the port <laughs> wants to do, is increase the kind of traffic that they can have there in and out through all these rivers. Wow, that's pretty cool and very educational. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You know, awesome. I'd be, yeah, I'd be seeing saying, well, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with this place. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there you have it. So um, the locks here, this is um, the Canaveral locks. It's designed to hold the water and for the boats to pass between the um, the rivers. We have the Banana River over there and the Indian River, which is beyond that. So there's two rivers. If you've been following my um, Facebook, the, the Facebook group, then you know that the other day um, I shot a, a morning sunrise and then also an evening sunset. I did the sunrise over at um, at Coco Beach Pier. Yeah, it was the Coco Beach Pier. I shot the sunrise there, and in that same evening, I was able to shoot a sunset over the water. But the water wasn't the ocean. The uh, evening shot was actually the sun setting over the Banana River, which is the river you see right there, right beyond um, the locks. Then further along, there's actually another river uh, called the Indian River. And um, then after that, you have the mainland of Florida. So we're on the Barrier Island right now. We're actually at um, on Merritt Island. I think it's Merritt Island. Yeah, I think we're on Merritt Island still. And um, the locks here at the Canaveral Locks connect the Banana River, which is on the side right now that we're looking at, to the jetty side out here, the inlet, which goes into the Atlantic Ocean. And apparently they have it here to adjust the water level so that the water doesn't just flow one way because the elevation of the water is going to be higher on one side than the other. And if they didn't do that, the water would just flow. And they don't really want that because that could cause flooding or it could cause the rivers to dry out. I don't know which, which is higher. I'm assuming the ocean is higher. And if the ocean is indeed higher than the river, then if they open the locks, the river um, water levels would rise and basically the coastline would change. So we learned something new today. Not, not just you guys viewing, but me as well. I, I didn't know they had this here. I didn't even know they had a lock system here. But this is um, very cool. Let's see if we can actually walk around the lock and, and take a look around. I'm surprised they just let people up here. I mean, it says uh, government property and stuff, but it's open and people come out here and look around. Well, I see a sign here that says authorized personnel only. And since I'm not authorized personnel, I'm not gonna bother trying to go over there, but 
you can see there's a, a, a gatehouse over there and an intricate system here for um, controlling the water levels. I'm trying to look and see what the difference is. They look very similar, but... And on this side is the, um, is the ocean side. That, that bridge you see right ahead is the drawbridge where I was um, uh, waddling around in the water over there. I don't know if you can see the, the side right there. You see those orange things right behind, beyond the orange things is where I was um, messing around. Actually, there's a fence further up. Canaveral Locks, and um, this is like way cool. There's the cart for the guy there. Huh, pretty, pretty neat. Today, just wanted to point out that you know, as I'm getting ready to walk back towards my van, I see all these little picnic um, tables and stuff here. There's a pavilion here. There's also picnic tables over there with barbecue things, so I'm sure this section is open to the public. Yeah. And of course the fact that nobody came up and threw me on the ground. <laughs> Spread Eagle. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure they allow the public to come here and look around. You're just not allowed into the um, that area that's fenced off that says authorized personnel only. But this is a potential spot for a picnic here even a barbecue this is great so another nice find here for Brevard County if you are up this way by the uh, uh, Port Canaveral area check out the Canaveral locks you could probably have a picnic out here and just hang out for a little bit I don't know if you could hang out much longer than maybe in an hour but it's something to do and it doesn't really cost anything and it's uh, rather cool okay we just left the locks which is over that way here and we're leaving the parking lot and I thought I would cruise uh, down this road again and possibly pull over here to these um, launches. I don't know if you remember in a previous video I'm, I had mentioned some kayakers but here I see uh, a truck there with kayaks so there's a little side road here where people can launch kayaks take out, check out the water here I'm gonna go take a look let me just come over here and take a look here. It looks like um, a lot of boat launches, a little kayak launches. So, park right here and hang out, maybe go in the water and just waddle around a little bit. All right, here we are. This is uh, the Banana Riverside. And there's like little crabs running around here. I don't know if you can see him right there. I see our little friend there. He's got a big claw. Tiny little crab, but with a huge claw. There's a whole bunch of them, as a matter of fact. Look at them all. Do you see them all in the little holes? They're all scattering because they're scared of me. But I mean no harm. There they go. They're coming back out. They're becoming less scared of me now. Hello! Hello! Don't worry, I won't hurt you. If you can see it or not, I'm going to try to zoom in here if I can. It's a crab. Do you see him? It's like one huge claw, and the other claw is like tiny little claw. Yeah, he's doing a dance trying to scare me off. Like, I'm not afraid of you. Oh, and there's like a huge one over there in the bush. I don't know if you can see it from here or not, but there's a huge one in that bush. So the crabs are all hanging out around here. I don't know what they eat. They're all starting to come out of their holes again. There's a big one. 
The little ones seem to move a lot faster than the big ones. Life of a crab. Okay, I'll leave you guys alone. Well, this is the Banana River on the side here. And it might be a good photo area for a sunset. Let me um, zoom us back out here. This is the Banana River. And there are boats over there. Little mangrove islands, little bird. And mangroves. Only problem I have with this, oh, there's like a million crabs here. Only problem I have here is the uh, water looks really pukey. It's all slimy and full of algae and stuff. So, I'm not gonna go in it. Yep, yep, I'm not gonna walk around in it. But if I had a kayak, you do have a little blow up. Uh, or two but I don't think I want to go in this water it's kind of gross I mean I don't know if you can see here you can't see anything it's like I don't think you can see past six inches into the water here so we have found another cool spot that um, I think right there where the cars, where you see the cars going, I think that is um, 528. That's the beach line or the B line. And we're actually on the other side where um, you actually have to go all the way through. Basically, you, you take the exit for um, Port Canaveral. Then you turn left, like on that first left. Come out alongside where it takes you to um, that park that I was just at earlier. And then you follow the road underneath the um, drawbridge, and it brings you out here to this section. There's something just scared a fish or something. But if you do want to explore this, this looks like a really like some idiot dump trash over here. I, don't know, I see cans and bottles and stuff just dumped out here, which is sad. Um. Beer bottles and stuff out here. Diaper, baby diaper. Um, anyhow, worth checking out if you find yourself in um, in Florida in the Port Canaveral area. You could probably spend a whole day exploring this place. I haven't even gone to Jetty Park, which I'm not. Go I don't think I'm gonna go to Jetty Park. I, there's like a park entrance fee, and my funds right now are like nil, so we won't be going in there. But um, Jetty Park is where they have overnight camping if you want to camp there right on the beach. And um, the beaches there are nice too. So, with checking out if you got a couple bucks. Um, if not, just drive to, you know, drive south of here towards Cocoa Beach and further down south towards Patrick Air Force Base. And you can get free beach access with showers, bathroom, and everything. Guess I'm going to go ahead and sign out for now from um, Banana River. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm on my way out from the locks, but see that there's a little side road here um, that seems to go into the back. I hope I don't get myself stuck back here. Let's pop a tire or something. There's a little area back here. It's like side road. I don't think I want to take the side road. It just goes into the back and loops around, I think. It could be a potential parking area, though. The camp. I don't see any signs that say no overnight camping out here. out of here. I don't feel like going on that side road and possibly getting stuck. After my last incident with the uh,
tire popping, my tire um, busting as I went on the um, across the media and went over to the park on the uh, causeway. I'm a little weary of <laughs> taking these little side excursions. I, I think I'd be less weary once um, you know, my money situation is straightened out because then, you know, if something happened, I can repair it. But like right now, I'm stretched. I think I'll go ahead and I might. I think I'm gonna go ahead and let the the dash cam record the whole route here, so you can see how we drove through, where we came in from, and whatnot. Um, you won't see where we came in, but you know when we come out, so you can you have to kind of backtrack and figure out the way out. This is where I was earlier, um, playing in the water. I was actually waddling around over at this junction. Um, it's right by the um, the bridge, the uh, drawbridge. And now we know that those boats, they were coming in from the river, but before they came here, they had to stop at the locks for the um, water level to get adjusted. This is the park itself. Um, we're currently going underneath the, um, the bridge. That's why there's funny noises. Those are our vehicles passing overhead. This is the, uh, the inlet area here for um, Port Canaveral. And this is where I was parked earlier and, and just camped out here. I'm gonna stop for a bit. I need to take a bathroom break. <laughs> so let me just pull in over here and then uh, 